my survival for that moment. Right? I mean, ideally, I want to be the guy kind of, let's say, on the front foot, but if I've lost that advantage, I, I need to kind of protect myself. So, when I, personally, for me, when I say I can't begin with this, that's what I see it as being. You know, it's, it's the idea of what it says, okay? You know, first thing, if you don't know what to do, this is your first initial maneuver. So, and obviously, the cabinet gets very formalized, but this is what we're going to practice. So, the idea is the partner swings anything at you, usually me. Okay, so the idea is that's the default. I come on my head and I move forward. So hopefully I'm moving inside the effective range of this technique. Does everyone remember that? I mean, it's not guaranteed to work. There's nothing in it. But it's a good thing. It doesn't matter you know, what punch he's throwing at or what's coming in. There's a good chance there that I'm going to take it on my arms out of my head. And as I move in, I'm going to take the range away. And then I can reestablish an advantage from there. I mean, he might throw an uppercut just as I move in. It's likely to be like that. But it's unlikely most human beings swing punches that tend to come down a little bit. You know, you know, we've got windmills, you know, people fight like that. You know, when the adrenaline kicks in, you know, very rarely they get kind of nice and shots and stuff. So the idea of covering and moving in works pretty well. So everyone okay to start with that, you know, so it's kind of like, they say, a default position. Um, and I wouldn't, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't do that initially. The idea is, I've tried to control the fight, I've lost it, he's been sort of punching me, hit me with what's going to be. And all I'm doing is, I don't know what to do, so I'll do this. Again, to, um, you know, we all say, you always need a movement that you go to when you don't know what to do. That way you always know what to do. Yeah, if, you, if you've kind of, I've no idea what to do here, you're going to freeze. If you've got, I've no idea what's going on, that's what I do. Okay, everybody needs one. Okay, it doesn't have to be that one, but that's one the cap shows, I think. Is everyone okay to do that at the dog start? So I just push through and continue that motion down. So if I make it very formal first, I've gone there, I've gone here, and I push it down. Uh, the instant block, I also don't want to stand here, you know, for the moment I've got it, I want to then from there, that's when I'm moving. Okay, so I kind of, I, I'm, I'm back. I, I, I know where I am again now. So a second ago, he kind of, you know, whacked me, I had no idea what I was going to put there, but there. And I might put some other stuff in here too, and I'll go to there and I'll push. Then so I've got him down from there, then I'm escaping. Exactly, that's the very first thing the cat is showing us. If you don't know what to do, cover and move in. When you get there, take a hold. When you've got that, push down on the head and move away. And if that doesn't work, we've got loads of cool stuff to show you. So we're okay with that kind of basic idea. So because he can attack me in an infinite number of ways. So it's like, well, if you don't know what those are, he gives something to do that you know could work off as not. <coughs> so we're okay to give that a shot. So it'd be very gentle on this as well, to just get the net. So just do it very gently with your arms. That's not your fault. And then the oars in it. So then do this, all this, all this. So ideally, what you want to happen is you crash in, you grab the guy, you pull a little bit, and you bend. And once you've managed it, okay, the posture's disrupted, I'm going to add to that by pushing down the top of the head. His posture's disrupted, now's my chance to escape, yeah? Strike and escape. Um, if you move in and grab and you move the hands on the ground, it falls. You need something else to do. You know, because you're trying to pull forward and everything's just gone rigid, it's not going to happen. So um, it depends on the version of the, the cat that's on. The cat that goes, ideally, if you want to push down. Now, in the version that I do, and I know some others, the, the next bit that I've got is the head will turn one way to the other. Uh, and you know, some great applications for that. One of them are very warm in the neck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. you know, uh, that's one thing I was told. The other one is you, you, you're kind of surveying all the enemy. You know, so it's like I'm watching you, I've got you off. You know. <laughs> and, uh, it just doesn't make any sense to me. But to, the, the head movement, uh, as, as I see it, is it's combined. Because I always have the view that everything's combined. Because I think, I think if, if you take the view that some things are symbolic, you just open the door and you can, you can explain everything away with symbolism. You know what I mean? So I'd rather make it hard for myself and say, no, I have to get a combined function for everything. You know, so that, you know, and I do that right down to, you know, the salutations and everything, everything has to have a movement. I'm not convinced by this idea that the salutations are salutations. Because uh, uh, Igami, a student of Fulakoshi's, in his book, The Heart of Karate, you know, he shows all these various hand positions. Uh, and he says, I have no idea what this means. You know what I mean? So, and, and that's kind of one of the few kind of older references to it. He's got no idea. You know, it's a beauty to go back in time and find out, but simply don't know. So when people go over to kind of formal greeting or something like that, or whatever, you know, you're symbolizing the oneness of the universe, or you're showing the enemy you have no weapons, or, you know, it's a, a, an old kind of Chinese greeting or something, and I just go, nah, I want to find a combined meaning for it. Because to me, that idea of being a Greek, it makes it much sense to start in battle like this. <laughs> you, know, you wouldn't do it, you know what I mean? <laughs> and off you go, you know, so I, I, everything's got to be combined. So, you know, and again, some people just explain by the way, it's just ready position. But to me, you know, it's grabbing, it's a clinch, it's covering, it's a push. Okay, the head movement, it's sort of kind of warm, or anything like that, it's something combined. So I know not every version does that, but we'll just add it in. You know, but, so the idea being, 
Uh, it, 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 if I'm, see there, see this, it bent forward that little bit. So if I'm moving and that happens, I go perfect. I just go to there and I continue that movement. Okay, from there then I can escape. Uh, uh, if I was to pull and shh, you know what I mean, just be a lot of, you know, big strong guy, ah, okay, this isn't going to happen. I don't want to keep trying to force it, you know what I mean, I've got to, I've got to do something else. So at the moment, you can't punch me effectively, because the shoulders are big. So the, 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 one of the things that you can do from there is you can headbutt me or bite me, you know what I mean, so I have to be kind of mindful of that, right? So when I see the head movement moving one way or the other, it's simply saying, if your head's on one side, your eye is head that way. If your head was on the other side, your eye is head the other way. So for example, as it happens now, my head's here. So I've got to go forward, do this. Sorry, that was a bit hard. I've got to go and do that. Okay, as soon as I get that from there, my head can't bite me now. Because right, the head's big. So I'll go from there. And I can start elbowing and stuff on the car for that moment, for that moment in time, which ground his head across. Is everyone okay with that, that concept? Um, <laughs> the cool thing is, well, he can't bite me, but I can't bite him. <laughs> you know, if I need to. Sound effects are optional, right? Um, uh, I mean, again, you know, not that you want to do that, you don't want to bite great bumps out of people, but it, it, sometimes the guy's much, much stronger than you, and he's got a hold of you, just kind of nipping that teeth on me, I don't want to keep hold of this thing anymore, it's biting me, you know, so you can create space which can facilitate escape and things, you know, so, um, it's brutal, but you know, it can work. So, head to one side, grind one way, head to the other side, grind that way. If the head was down, I wouldn't try and grind it, no need, I could push straight down, straight away. So we're okay with that concept. So in the version that I, I do, that I can start like that, and then last week's got this at the start as well. Forget that for the moment. And then it goes from there, there. And simply I'd say, pull him down if you can. If you can't pull him down, grind his head. We're all quick on that one, and after that, I'm inside getting the elbowing and all that kind of cool stuff. So we're okay with that play.